In a remarkable display of bravery during World War II, John R. Fox made the decision to call in an artillery barrage on his own location in order to protect his fellow soldiers and civilians. Despite knowing the risk involved, Fox made the ultimate sacrifice in the battle against the German forces. As a result of his courageous actions, Fox, who was African American, was honored posthumously with the Medal of Honor. John R. Fox was born in Cincinnati, Ohio on May 18, 1915 as the eldest of three siblings. He attended a Reserve Officers Training Corps ROTC, program while getting his degree, eventually graduating from the post-secondary institution with a degree in engineering, and earned a commission as a second lieutenant with the United States, U.S., Army in 1941. After joining the All Black 366th Infantry Regiment, John R. Fox trained with an anti-tank unit at Fort Devens, Massachusetts, which was attached to the 92nd Infantry Division, also known as the Buffalo Soldiers Division. The 92nd was a segregated unit that served in the final days of World War I and was reactivated in response to the Second World War. The division made their way through the European theater, serving as the only African-American infantry division there. They arrived in Italy in November and were assigned to the Pavali, where they split into small detachments for various support and guard duties, including the all-black 598th Field Artillery Battalion, commanded by Lieutenant Colonel Robert C. Ross. On Christmas night, the Germans began their raid on Samakolonia, forcing a retreat of United States positions. John R. Fox and his observation crew remained to direct fire from their position. Eventually, Fox ordered his comrades to retreat and stayed at his post to observe the enemy positions. He called for more defensive artillery strikes from American batteries, but the enemy continued to advance, causing Fox to call in strikes closer and closer to his own position. The Germans were getting closer to John R. Fox's observation post. After one strike, he radioed to his battalion commander. That was just where I wanted it. Bring it in 60 yards. At approximately 8 a.m., Fox called for another artillery strike, this time on his own position. His commander, Lieutenant Otis Zachary, protested, but Fox insisted, saying, There's more of them than there are of us. Give them hell. The artillery strike killed Fox and an estimated 100 German soldiers, and stalled the advancing troops long enough to allow for more United States soldiers and Italian civilians to retreat. The city was successfully recaptured by the Allied forces on January 1, 1945. Fox's body was found a few days later and returned to his wife, Arlene. He was buried in Colebrook Cemetery in Whitman, Massachusetts. John R. Fox was posthumously awarded the Distinguished Service Cross on May 15, 1982. It was several years later that the U.S. Department of Defense investigated why no African Americans were awarded the Medal of Honor during World War II. Following an investigation, a total of seven African American veterans were put forward for the Medal of Honor, Fox among them. On January 13, 1997, President Bill Clinton posthumously awarded the Medal of Honor to Fox, presenting it to his widow. Arlene later said, We never needed any medals. John just felt that we were as good as anybody else, and he was going to prove it, and he did. <laughs>